When we think of ancient history, we may assume that our ancestors lived in a primitive and undeveloped world. However, the reality is quite different. In fact, there were many incredible inventions that were created before the advent of civilization as we know it today. From the earliest tools made from stone to the latest advancements in technology, these ancient inventions paved the way for the technological advancements we enjoy today. Prepare to step back in time and witness the 11 most amazing inventions that took place in ancient history and changed the world forever. Stay tuned! Welcome to Untold History Guy, where you can find fun, fascinating, and sometimes shocking chronicles of history. Join us as we journey back and uncover the untold truths of the past. Number 1. The Wheel the invention of the wheel was definitely a game-changer for humanity, and you could say that it really got things rolling. It's no wonder that the wheel became such an iconic symbol. I mean, who doesn't love a good circle? It was invented around 3500 BCE, in Lower Mesopotamia, which is now Iraq. The earliest wheels were made of wooden discs and holes for axles. They were used for pottery, irrigation, milling, and other small applications. It took 300 years after the invention of the wheel for humans to conceive the idea of using it for transportation purposes. They were attached to carts and other vehicles, allowing for easier transportation of goods and people. The wheel also made it possible to create more efficient agricultural tools, such as the plow, which greatly increased food production. The wheel was not just a technological advancement, but also had significant cultural and social impacts. It enabled greater mobility and trade, allowing for the spread of ideas and technologies across different regions. Number 2. Paper Paper as we know it is a thin, flat material made from plant fibers, used for writing, printing, drawing, or packaging. It was invented in China around AD 105 by the Chinese eunuch Tsai Lun. The earliest forms of paper were made from mulberry bark, hemp, and old rags and fishing nets that were beaten into a pulp mixed with water and then spread onto a screen to dry. This process created a thin, flexible material that was ideal for writing and printing. The Chinese were able to refine this process over time, making paper production more efficient. I guess you could say that paper really helped to unfold human communication and knowledge in a big way. And let's not forget about the environmental impact of paper production. I mean, we're literally cutting down trees just so we can write to-do lists and print memes. Maybe we should all switch to stone tablets or something. However, it's worth noting that other materials like papyrus and parchment were used for writing before the invention of paper. Number 3. Steam Engines Can you imagine a world without steam engines? We'd probably be stuck in the Middle Ages, sitting around campfires, roasting marshmallows, telling ghost stories. But thanks to these steamy inventions, we can now enjoy modern comforts like electricity, refrigerators, and Netflix. The evolution of the steam engine was a prolonged and convoluted journey that extended over several centuries and engaged the efforts of numerous innovators and technicians. Thomas Savory developed the first practical steam engine, which was later improved by Thomas Newcomen. In 1756, James Watt, a Scottish engineer, is credited with inventing the modern steam engine by making several key improvements to the design of earlier steam engines in the 18th century. Watt's engine used a separate condenser to improve efficiency, allowing the engine to use much less fuel. This made the steam engine a practical source of power for a wide range of industrial applications, including textile mills, iron foundries, and transportation. The impact of the steam engine on society was profound and far-reaching, transforming the way people lived and worked. Number 4. Fire The invention of fire is a crucial event in human history, that took place around 1.5 to 2 million years ago during the Lower Paleolithic Era. Well, 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 look who's feeling hot now. It's Homo erectus, the genetic ancestors of humans. The early humans made fire by rubbing sticks together, striking flintstones against each other, and using other tools to create sparks. They observed the power of fire and may have used it to scare away predators or to drive animals into traps. Over time, the early humans learned how to control fire and were able to use it for a wide range of purposes, such as cooking, creating heat for warmth, and weapons for hunting. The invention of fire was a major turning point in human history. Number 5. Printing Press You know what they say, behind every great invention is a great inventor. 
And in the case of the printing press, that inventor was none other than Johannes Gutenberg, a German goldsmith who invented the first printing press around 1436. The most important part of the printing press was the movable type because letters and symbols could be moved around easily and quickly to create different words and sentences. The printing press consisted of a wooden frame, a set of metal type pieces made from lead, tin, and antimony, and a screw mechanism that allowed the ink to be transferred from the type to the paper. The type pieces were arranged on a composing stick, which was then transferred to a printing press where the ink was applied to the type and pressed onto the paper. Talk about a real game changer. The first printed book, the Gutenberg Bible, was created in Europe in 1455. The printing press revolutionized the way information was disseminated and played a significant role in the development of the Renaissance and the scientific revolution. Number six, compass. A compass is a device used for showing directions. The first compass was invented by the Chinese in ancient China around the 11th or 12th century during the Han Dynasty. The earliest known Chinese compass was a device called a south pointer or south governor, which was made of lodestone, a naturally magnetized mineral in the shape of a spoon that was placed on a plate or tray. The lodestone would align itself with the Earth's magnetic field, indicating the north-south direction. Later, the Chinese compass evolved into more versions, such as the dry compass and the wet compass. When the compass was introduced to Europe by Arab traders in the 13th century, some sailors were so amazed by this new technology that they couldn't resist making jokes about it. What did the compass say to the map? You rock my world, they would say, causing everyone to groan and roll their eyes. But really, the compass was a game changer in navigation, allowing sailors to discover new lands and expand their empires. And who knows, maybe without the compass, we would still be lost in our own backyards, wandering aimlessly and wondering where the nearest pizza place is. Number seven, telephone. It seems like Alexander Graham Bell really knew how to dial it up a notch with his invention of the telephone. I mean, can you imagine life without being able to call your BFF to gossip about the latest drama or order a pizza for delivery? It'd be like living in the Stone Age. His work with the deaf influenced him to develop the telephone in 1876. The first telephone, called Bell's Box Telephone, was a crude device that consisted of a wooden box with a mouthpiece and an earpiece. The diaphragm was made of a thin piece of metal that was stretched over the mouthpiece and the wire ran from the mouthpiece to the earpiece. Talk about a ringing success! He made his first successful telephone call to Thomas Watson in the Boston Laboratory. Watson heard Bell's voice through the wire and the telephone was born. By the early 20th century, the telephone had become an essential part of modern life. The Bell Telephone Company had grown into a massive corporation. The invention of the telephone revolutionized communication and changed the world forever. Number 8. Gunpowder The invention of gunpowder is credited to Chinese Taoist alchemists, who are believed to have discovered it around the year 1000 AD. They were searching for a formula that would grant eternal life. One alchemist mixed saltpeter, sulfur, and charcoal and accidentally discovered that the mixture would burn and explode, hence using it for fireworks and entertainment. The earliest recorded use of gunpowder as a weapon was during the Song Dynasty in China, when it was used for rockets and bombs. As for the impact of gunpowder in historical events, let's just say it really blew things up. From the Hundred Years' War to the American Revolutionary War, gunpowder certainly had a blast in shaping the course of history. And let's not forget about the more advanced firearms that followed in the 19th and 20th centuries. Who needs to lift weights when you have a machine gun to tone those arms, am I right? Number 9. Calendar The first calendar to divide a year into 12 lunar months was invented by the Sumerians in Mesopotamia. Each consisted of 29 or 30 days, with an intercalary month added periodically to keep the calendar in sync with the seasons. Can you imagine the confusion that the Sumerians, Babylonians, and Chinese must have had when they tried to schedule a meeting? Let's meet on the 15th of the 8th month. Or was it the 9th month? And wait, which year are we in again? The calendar was later modified by the Greeks and Romans. In 46 BC, Julius Caesar proposed to reform the Roman calendar. The resulting calendar, known as the Julian calendar, consisted of 365 days with an extra day added every four years to account for the extra time in the solar year. 
This system of adding a day every four years is known as a leap year. Julius Caesar's role in the development of the calendar was an achievement and demonstrated his interest in science and technology. The Julian calendar helped to establish the foundation of modern calendars that are based on the solar year, including the Gregorian calendar, which was introduced in 1582 and is widely used today. Number 10. Penicillin Well, it seems like Alexander Fleming had quite the mold-breaking discovery when he stumbled upon Penicillium notatum in his Petri dish in 1928. I bet he was penicillin himself with excitement when he realized the potential of his findings. And let's give a round of applause to Howard Florey and Ernst Chain for taking Fleming's discovery and turn it into something that could be used to infect the medical world in a good way. They developed a method of purifying and producing large quantities of penicillin and conducted clinical trials to test its effectiveness in treating bacterial infections. Penicillin was first used in the treatment of wounded soldiers during World War II and quickly became an essential tool in medicine, saving countless lives. Number 11. The Clock Christian Huygen was a real clock star. He didn't waste time tinkering around with any old timekeeping device. Oh no. He was on a mission to make timekeeping precise and reliable, and he nailed it with his invention of the pendulum clock in 1656. I guess you could say he really swung for the fence on that one. <laughs> However, there were some other timekeeping devices, such as sundials, water clocks, candle clocks, sand clocks, and mechanical clocks. The pendulum clock works by using the regular back and forth motion of a pendulum to regulate the movement of the clock's gears. By adjusting the length of the pendulum and the other components in the clock, Huygens was able to create a clock that was much more accurate than any that had come before it. The invention of the pendulum clock was a major step towards the development of modern clocks. So, what do you think? Which one of these inventions surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from our channel.